hello guys welcome back to the channel if today is your first time watching make sure you subscribe like share and follow i've been wanting to collaborate with the fashion designer and this week i had someone we did some amazing photo shoots when i posted it on my instagram i had a lot of comments about how i did the editing so today i'm taking you through my editing process from start to finish from retouching to color grading. So. Are you gonna be? Say that you're gonna be. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's start editing. Let's go. I always color grade my pictures in Photoshop, sometimes Lightroom, but I want it to be very snappy and quick. So first of all, Control A, which will bring up the camera raw. First and foremost, I go to my color mixtures, come to the oranges. I increase it about five plus five and then my red plus two there is no green in the picture there's no aqua there's no blue so we just leave this just like that and then i come to the light section this i increase my contrast to plus 10 my whites negative seven and then my black negative seven just to add more depth to the picture okay so that is it you press okay and always if you know you'll be posting your pictures on instagram you need to put the picture in instagram dimension so when you come to the top here you press c for crop then come to your top here come to the top here and choose four by five which is the instagram frame size now, as I'm done with my cropping and everything, the next step is to remove the blemishes from the face. But if you look at this picture, there are no blemishes. She has a very smooth skin. Yes. To speed up my workflow, I've created my own frequency separation action, which speeds up my work really quick. Sometimes you don't need to waste time editing and so on, because it's time consuming. So. I've created my own action that I use. So let's load the action. If you can't find this tab on the screen, just come to Windows and this is your action. Or you can just press Alt plus F9. It will bring up the action tab. So let me load the action. So after loading the action, you open it up. If you want this action, comment action in the comment section box and I'll send you the link to the action. So come to the low frequency layer and you hide the high frequency layer. Then you choose your mixer brush tool. The mixer brush tool is always here. You can long press here. This is the normal brush and this is the mixer brush tool okay so an image like this if you check let me show you well so brush let me change the color of my brush so that you understand what i'm saying as you can see there are highlights over here these are the highlights the greens are for the highlights let me show you the, the shadow part. So this is the highlights. This is the shadows. Okay, it's not really shown. Let me use red. So these are the shadow areas. And then 
Let me use yellow for the mid tone. So these are the mid tones. It's mid tone. So as you can see, the highlights is the green one. The mid tone is the yellow, and then the shadow is the red. So control Z. But you can see that she's wearing a fascinator and this fascinator comes with a net and you can see the net is covering all over her face so you can't retouch where the net is so the only places i retouch is the places where there are no nets so n my weight is 5 my load is 20 my mix is 10 and my flow is 50. so let's start painting on the face so this is And make sure as you are doing your retouching, don't make the brush small or too big. Make sure your brush size is always fixed to a particular portion. And you need to be zooming in and out to check your pictures. Don't zoom all the way in to do your retouching. It should be a little bit further away from you. So use the bracket in and close to increase your brush size. So after this, let's whiten the eye. So I come to this side, go to black and white, increase the reds and increase the yellows. This one, you can choose a specific number that you want. It wouldn't affect the picture in any way. So control I to invert B for brush. Then you paint only on the white part. You paint only on the white part of the eye. As you can see. So let's do the before and the after. Before, after, before, after. So now, let me clean up my backdrop. Control shift alt e to create a new layer of the overall picture so n for my mixer brush there are so many ways you can use to smoothen the background but what i like doing most is just using the mixer brush you can select the subject from the background and work on the background but this is what i find most like the quicker way for me to edit my pictures so the mixer brush just paints that's where the highlight is so these are the highlight areas these sides are the highlights these are the shadows there are mid tones so once you are doing it you need to take your time so that you wouldn't brush on her dress or any part of the image that you don't want it to be smoothing out i'm done with my background now the picture is quite dark i want to add more light to her and to glow her skin so come here you go to brightness and contrast you increase your brightness to what you want then you press ctrl i to invert it now you go to your brush the opacity should be 100 percent and flow 100 percent then you paint just on the subjects if you want her dress to be bright as well you can paint on the brush but i want only her skin the hand and then the face to be bright so once i'm done just increase my image to check if everything is perfect and yes it is so let's do the before and after of the whole thing so let's put this in a group so before and after before after before after so guys thank you so much for watching 
and I'll see you in my next video. If you know today is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe, like, share and follow. My next video, I'll take you through how to add different artifacts or different pictures to the background. See you in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Are you gone?